the winner has flown far, far away. A banker of the meeting for many. Our Connor wins the triumph hurdle. We're on to Friday, Gold Cup Day, the Blue Ribbon event of the whole National Hunt season. It's not all about Cheltenham. Of course it is. I was going to swear. I might as well swear. Of course it fucking is. It's Cheltenham, isn't it? Go on, the boys. Right. We've got the Triumph Powder. We've got Lossy Mouth, big talking horse over the summer. Was, to be fair, considering the reputation, the way people talk about her, she was still a reasonable price before she was actually seen on a race course. I think, I don't know, maybe 12, something like that, maybe before she made her first start. She has been pretty impressive in those two runs. I I don't know what it is about her. Maybe it's this touch of the Edward Stones all over again, but I, I'm not 100% sold on her. And I feel like, personally, it's just because normally you see this triumph hurdle, you have a few good Irish horses, and you can normally tell, like, your Pied Pipers and Bobans, they go against each other. It may just be that, that she is really, really good, and those ones that are getting beaten by her are the next best things to the triumph. I just don't think she's come up against a real proper, proper, proper horse. So, um... I'm very, very, very lukewarm at her. I do feel like a bit of an idiot because I could have got some 12s anti-post and I wish I had her in the book because she's a 6 to 4 point now and I, and I do feel like an idiot for that. But I, I'm not sold on Lost Your Mouth. There's just something about her that I just don't really trust. Who would I go against her with? Probably no one at the moment. Like, I don't really know who I'd want to bet. I'm hoping something comes out in the dove cut. There is a um, juvenile hurdle that Willie Mullins has used for burning victory uh, the back end of last year, but I'm not sure whether he's got anything. But I just wonder whether any other trainers have got something. So <laughs> I'm just not sold on Lossy Mouth. But it's, it's probably more going back to like the facile vagary thing. Like it's probably more just the price than anything that's putting me off her. Daryl, what do you make of Lossy Mouth? Do you think she's a worthy favourite? Do you think she's the right price? Do you think she wins? Uh, I think she's a worthy favourite. Uh, I quite like her. Uh, I don't think she's beaten a whole lot. I think she's not a world beater that a lot of people make out. I want to take her on because she hasn't done anything on the clock um, for me. So, uh, like, for for example, last time um, at Leopard Sound and Frank Knight, that race was very steadily run, right? She was well positioned in second. If you just look at the field behind her, right? Forget the clock for a minute, but if you look at the field behind her, I think coming down to the third last, there was about two lengths covering the lot of them, and there was still a few at the, at the rear of the field pulling for their heads. Um, it got a little bit messy jumping the third or second last, one of the two. Uh, Gala Martial got caught in a little bit of a pocket, had to pull wide, and she just kicked away. She's very she's very quick. She's got a great turn of foot, but she's not yet proven like that stamina. For, and you do need to stay to win a triumph hurdle. Um, I mean, just look at like Goshen, who's now run over three miles, for example. Like, and there's lots of examples of that throughout the years. But um, you do need to stay t- to win this, and I think she'll be tested. Uh, her stamina will be tested to full effect in this particular race. Again, I don't think she's met a whole lot, so like, I'm starting to be concerned that this division is just not that deep. It's not going to be that deep, and she just what she's done just might be good enough. Um, because I can't have Gar- Gala Marcial. She 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 will come on for the run, but like Zarat the Brave for me, um, I got quite excited on, on the back of his day performance, but I just don't think it, it was that deep really. Uh, the the two I like in here is I actually like Gary Moore's Stupid of the Geek who bolted up at Newbury the other day. I think that's a proper horse. Like, like I, I said to you, like you shouldn't compare times and stuff across the day at Newbury because the rain was getting into the ground, right? But my God, like his two mile circuit was like tw- tw- 37 lengths faster than uh, than um, Hermes Allen. Like it, 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 like and compared to races earlier on the card where he w- where he would have been disadvantaged by the ground, he was just much faster. It was it was really impressive from three out, and he just he won it in a hat canter. Like he was almost clueless coming down to the last. Didn't even know he was in a race. Like. I think he could be really good. Like he's either going to be extremely overrated or he's going to be an absolute star. He reminds me a bit of a bake, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a bit of a nut and like that. And uh, I, I think, I think he, I think we could be seriously underestimating this horse. He's around twelve to one, I think. The other one um, is Blood Destiny, who I really like. I uh, put him up at thirty three. So his time in Otoy, he ran on the same card as Lossy Mouth, right? Uh, and his time was much, much better. I mean, 20 lengths faster than what Lossy Mouth did on the same card. Now, you could say 
well, Bo Zenith beat Blood Destiny, mm. and Bo Bo Zenith therefore should be, you know, should be short in the market as he is to, to Blood Destiny. But Blood Destiny was held up at the rear of the field, not even really put into the race, and he just ran on really strongly under like a very easy hand and heels ride. I thought he was the one to take out of it, and he's come out at um, at Cork and he's won really well by five lengths. Literally hard held, took him ages to pull him up after the race like the forms worked out pretty well even right down to the fifth has come out i think and won next time out um yeah it came out and won at limit coming out and won a maiden hurdle at limerick now he's not like though that form is not good enough for triumph hurdle form but the fact that he's beaten so easily and it's still sort of working out i think he i think he's well overpriced at 20 to 1 well over. if he goes and wins again he's second five isn't he yeah and that's the thing with the willie modding stuff that <clears throat> i don't think they <clears throat> they don't think they've got anything in the yard that's better than last year. It's easy to say after she's done what she's done, but they, there is that race. It's the grade three at the end of, I think it's February at Fairy House, maybe the one, the Burn and Victory one. That's the sort of race that Blood Destiny could probably go in and go and pick up quite a little route, be another impressive win, still be underestimated. Because I, I can't imagine, because he does look like he could be good. I, I can't imagine they'd want to test him against Lossy Mouth now in that spring juvenile. I know they have done in the past, like horses take on each other, didn't they? Like your far class mystery adjudicator but it doesn't tend to be the same stable that would put their best ones against each other and that's what makes me think of blood destiny they are holding on to something because i think they do think that he could be pretty useful jamie what do you make of it um i'm the same as both of you dev i i there's something in the back of my head to think <coughs> that lactate mode is obviously <coughs> to me way too short of six to four like at this present moment of time i've seen better horse than it's just the way the run the run of the races is exactly what you're saying it's very slow like um there's something in my head saying she's not really that good do you know what i mean but as i said might get away with it because the rest of them might be crap behind it i was seriously impressed with that horse the gary moore horse uh he looks like a lunatic like gosh and like do you know what i mean like he looks like he could be 20 lengths here coming to the last in the, in the triumph and good luck and thank you very much um i like the one that daryl did and i backed it before Daryl said as well, yeah, Blood Destiny, <laughs> because of I watched that race in <laughs> all time. Because Bo is in it, I think, is coming in, is, is running out of Sando, and I think in the first race, I didn't think I would yeah. see him on Saturday. Um, oh, yeah, there's something about this Blood Destiny. Uh, looks very, very good. Now, I think it'll take on last year, about uh, Jonas to David, the Springs Juvenile. I hope he does. Um, now, the way I look at it, the way the race last day with last year, about Gannam or so, pulled his head for. What, a mile and six, and this didn't last over. But if that horse she settles, would definitely be a lot closer the next day if they run in the spring juvenile. And that's just my opinion. Uh, after that, because it's so bad, right? At the moment, you know, we haven't seen much, we've forgotten about the Harris horse. And like, you'd have to give Scriptwriter a chance. In the, mm-hmm. he's like, no, the form's not great for November because of that, it's not that great. He has to have a chance, like, you know, but will he stay up the hill the extra furlong in the train? Maybe, yeah, maybe not. Look, who who sends a triumph hurdle horse to Wolverhampton? I know, yeah, that's like, the, 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 it's the absolute thing, bollocks. Thing. Yeah, but Isn't look, it? me it's... at the moment, at the moment, if I was really happy, and I'm really happy with the bet I have on Bloodest. Perfect. Well, that's a nice way to wrap it up. A bit lukewarm on Lossy Mouth, but she does deserve to be favourite on what she's done, but I reckon she might be like another Apple Shakira, and I'd like to see her in the prelims, see her kicking up a fuss because I haven't backed her. But I hope everyone out there that's gone the juicy prices does quite well because I do quite like that. These summer horses that a lot of people are on. I remember when Bob Odinger won his, uh, his Ballymore and every man and their dog won it. I was on him at a decent price as well. So we do like her to come in for the fans, don't we? Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, and then we'll be talking about the Albert Barlet in a minute. 